the welterweight contest for England on the left, all in white, Rob McCracken, actually the son of Irish parents, but tonight boxing for England against Ireland, his opponent here, Joe Lowe, from the Holy Tr Trinity Club in Belfast. And McCracken's a tall man, six feet, one inch, and towering over the Irishman here. McCracken, 21. Low 22. McCracken, actually, the boxing for England here, once boxed in the Irish Junior Championships. Nonetheless, he represents England and he's going to Auckland for the Commonwealth Games to represent England. A lot of reach advantage McCracken has here against Lowe, who is the Ulster and Irish champion, and Lowe himself will be in Auckland representing Northern Ireland. So these two could well meet again, 12,000 miles away. comes from Coleraine in Northern Ireland and oddly enough he lost to his opponent tonight low in the final of the 1987 Irish Junior Championships but now he boxes out of Birmingham out of the Birmingham City Club and he's all England just at the end of the uh, travel of that left from low if he'd been an inch closer to it it could have been real trouble it's not easy for low to get to mccracken he's so tall first round. This is McCracken who was runner-up in the ABA Championships at Wembley in May and uh, he was outpointed in the final by Alan Hall of Darlington who was winning his second championship and who has now turned professional. But that was at light welterweight and now of course he's up to welter. two of this welterweight contest McCracken the Irishman who represents England all in white and low McCracken with all the physical advantages here six feet one inch he stands this island England match has gone England's way over the years England have won the last seven matches in fact the last time Ireland won in England was in 1971 in Croydon, 18 years ago. Up, up. They won in Dublin, Ireland in 77, but those are the only two victories they've had against England since 1971. Both these men have broken noses. Signs of past attention from opponents. McCracken just needs to do, his footwork's all right, but he needs to do a little bit more punching. Up. 
I think both men are very conscious indeed that uh, only a month or so away they'll have to be boxing in the Commonwealth Games and the last thing they want of course is injury and I think that is uh, playing a, a part in this contest they're not going to go mad and beginning to make the reach tell. Fruitless chase by Lowe at the moment. Irish referee, Eugene Duffy. in uh, both the European and the World Championships this year, but he failed to get past his opening contest in either tournament. But he did have two wins in the United States last March in Atlantic City and in Orlando. Too much in it. This is Joe Lowe from the Holy Trinity Club in Belfast, the younger brother of Brendan Lowe, who represented Northern Ireland in the Commonwealth Games in Edinburgh in '86. He boxed in this match, Joe, in uh, Dublin last year, outpointed then by Mark Elliott, the reigning ABA champion. Waterweight contest, the tall man, the Irishman who boxes for England, Rob McCracken from Birmingham City, and uh, Joe Lowe from the Holy Trinity Club in Belfast. McCracken boxed in this match last year in Dublin, and he outpointed Sylvie Furlong at light welterweight, and he won against Scotland earlier this year, and he won a silver medal in October in Finland in the famous uh, Tama multi-nation tournament and then he won for England a few weeks ago in Portsmouth against Poland so uh, his form for England in these matches is very good indeed he's, he's been in four of these two nation matches and he's won them all Czechoslovakia Ireland Scotland and Poland comes from Kings Heath in Birmingham Two brothers who box. Up, up. Head to low. And still a good deal of caution being displayed, perhaps not surprisingly, by these two men who are going with their respective countries to the Commonwealth Games. And the head guards completely unseated itself from uh, Lowe's head and uh, this happens so often with these things it really is very annoying the strap completely came undone Sony's going to have to look into the matter of head guards and try and design one that will stay put setting up a very big attack and McCracken for the first time looked a little disturbed Great. Stop. 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 
referee wants a break when he tells him to. contest. Those had a reasonable last round. And McCracken has never made use of his height and reach in the final round. past the three minutes now on our watch. Obviously, there have been one or two interruptions like that by the referee and time has clearly been taken off. But we are running at something like three and a half minutes now. Three forty-four. We made it when the bell came. Close contest between those two. Difficult to say who's won. McCracken had the better adjust in the first two rounds, but Lowe had a good last round, so it could be extremely close. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by a unanimous decision, McCracken from the red court. Rob McCracken. All three judges have voted for him, but I'd like to bet the scoring was pretty close. And it's not entirely uh, enjoyed by the crowd, the decision. But nonetheless, Rob McCracken is the winner for England in that, in that match between two Irishmen. Obviously, that's the result you want as far as Auckland's concerned. Oh, yeah, definitely. But like me and Joe, every time we box, it's going to be close and awkward like that. So maybe we're better off avoiding each other in, in the Commonwealth, you know. I know, Joe, you've been suffering from a little bit of flu before, but you'd probably be a bit disappointed about the way you box tonight. Our best man won underneath, and that was Robert. Like he deserved the win. It was uh, sharpest and all was gone. But uh, like I say, that's one for him and one for me. And the next one will be in Auckland. Like, and hopefully, uh, I'll have took a more out of tonight than he has. 